Now, I'll tell you something else I heard, and I think about this, because at one time, science said man came from apes. Did it not? I've heard, That's I, when you, know, you go I, to the every science. Time, every time I read or hear that, I think to myself, you just didn't read the same Bible I did. Well, what, this was interesting, though. If that is true, why are there still apes? Think about it. You know, now you're getting too smart for it. No, us, no, no, no. Sure. Think about this. We have an evolution that is we've gotten so intelligent that if that is true, why are there still apes? And then the conception of a baby. Let me tell you, science can't do that. They Come still on. trying to do it, Come on. but it can't because there had to be a God. Mm. Mm. John, why are there apes? <sighs> Where are my apes at? They're everywhere. Well, actually, no, they're, all my a lot apes are in gone. danger. All my apes gone. No, they're, they're still there, thus no evolution. Look, I, I wanna try to be understanding because despite Do the fact you? that I, I am an atheist as everyone knows, I know that there are a lot of uh, great progressives uh, who consider themselves Christian or have other you know religious values that might lead them to believe some sort of scripture rather than science in a few areas. I was talking with Rashad Ritchie on my show this morning. He is a Christian. He also said that he was given a mind before he was given a book, the, the Bible. Um, he, he must it, be reading a different Bible from that gentleman. Yeah, that I, think, stage. I, I think in the universities, I think they use, yeah, like second or third edition Bibles to teach <laughs> biology. No, the thing about this is not just that it's ridiculous for what I hope are fairly obvious reasons. That of course, we didn't evolve from apes. You're gonna get into all the actual yeah. science of how the, the branch works and all of that. It's that. How could you never have even heard this bad point before? And I am, this is not a purely rhetorical question. I am asking the audience, was this the first time you've heard someone say, well, if we came from apes, why are there still apes? Yes. I'm it, actually interested. It, no, because people, yes, yes, this yeah. is, this is, I'm not kidding. That's the first time you've heard someone this say that? This is the first time I've heard that argument, yes. Okay, okay, well, look, that's why I wanted to check because yeah. you know you never know. Um, for me, if I was a religious person who was committed to the idea that evolution couldn't possibly be true, I would at least bone up on some of the common counter arguments to my what about the apes point. Yeah, you know, that's a, that's a fantastic point. Like. If I'm, look, I, I am not super, I'm not smart when it comes to science. I'm just not, right? So I have questions that I'm sure would come across as stupid to people who are well versed in biology, chemistry, whatever it is that I have a question on. But I feel like it's a responsibility of mine to just research that question. Like we have endless data, information, whatever at our fingertips. Mm -hmm. So if I had a question, look, there's no such thing as a stupid question if you ask me. Right, that was a stupid statement because he didn't think to actually look into this and just decided, no, 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 I'll be the arbiter of what's really right and wrong on evolution, <laughs> which is that's not a good sign for someone who's looking to be mm -hmm. a United States senator who's supposed to be representing the constituents of an entire state. Yeah. So yeah, what are, what are the chances that you would be the person who cracked this whole thing wide open. Of all of the people in the world, there's no offense intended to Herschel Walker. What if? What are the chances I'm the one who asks the question that totally changes the landscape of religion and science? The battle, finally, it's been in a stalemate for thousands of years. Finally, it's broken. What are the chances of that? Here's a tip, as a general rule in life, although rhetorical questions can be fun, stop asking them. Consider trying to answer the rhetorical questions that you ask. Mm -hmm. If you're Herschel Walker, Google if you know if evolution exists, why are there still eight? Like, because yeah. you'll find stuff immediately. It's relatively easy. There's probably TikToks that explain it as we speak. Stop asking rhetorical questions. Stop pretending to be curious. Actually be curious and act on that curiosity. So we're not like we're not descendants of apes. Like so I think a good way of putting this, Amanda Turkle over at HuffPost did a good job in summarizing this in an easy to digest way. So mm -hmm. I'm just gonna read exactly what she wrote. Okay. Humans did not evolve from the apes that you see at the zoo. <laughs> Rather, humans and apes have a common and now extinct ancestor that lived roughly 10 million years ago. Technically all humans are apes, but that doesn't mean that chimpanzees are one step away from becoming people. Walker's summary of evolution is incorrect and there's nothing incompatible about humans coexisting with other apes. Yes. And maybe look, maybe he's a visual learner and so let's help him out. We can take a look at this chart. It might be hard to read if you're watching this on your mobile phone, 
But the circle marked A, you'll see that on the right hand side, is our last common ancestor with apes, mm -hmm. okay? In other words, we evolved alongside other apes, which is why they still exist in their modern form, Yeah. okay? We have one other chart that's even more simplistic. So there you have it. So we just, we share a common ape ancestor. It mm -hmm. doesn't mean that we're the same as the chimpanzee. And by the way, if you need to have Orbitals. the ancestor be dead to prove that this existed, it's dead, okay? Are you happy? It's dead. <laughs> it ain't around anymore. I just, I think people who make the decision to be on a public stage, to be public figures, to share their thoughts with others, just need to like double check what they're about to say. Mm -hmm. Just. Oh, like to me, it demonstrates laziness. I don't think that he's necessarily a dumb person. It's just laziness to not look into that. Yeah, it's not dumb. It's it's honestly it's ignorance, and I don't mean yeah. that in insulting fashion. He literally doesn't know. And by the way, he is not unique in that way. Many people don't know about this stuff. Why would they? The American education system is a complete joke. Um, and there are all sorts of obstacles to having a full understanding, especially of science topics and things like that. But being a senator is not a small thing. It is a massive responsibility, uh, per, not least of which in the area of education. He could be on some sort of committee. He could be voting on education uh, legislation. Like, do, does his state not need any help in this area? Like, you do need to actually understand this stuff. He needs to represent Christians. In Georgia, that's true, he needs to understand the religious point of view, but he also has to represent people who believe in science and evolution.